the approach to Mycenae is substantial, and if you were not a friend, it was going to be tough to get in. Mycenae is one of the great citadels of Mycenaean culture. That is, this Bronze Age culture on mainland Greece that traded throughout the Mediterranean and became quite wealthy and quite powerful between the years of about 1600 and 1100 BCE. Right, and there were several cultures that thrived in this area during this Bronze Age period, one being Cycladic, located on the Cycladic Islands, another being Minoan culture, which was on the island of Crete. So here on the mainland, we refer to Mycenaean culture, named after the most powerful of the Mycenaean city-states, and that was Mycenae. Now, Mycenae is located on the top of a small mountain. It is a very steep approach, and so it is naturally defensible. In fact, there are two larger mountains on the back, a huge valley leading down to the Aegean Sea in front, just a glorious space, but also one where enemies' approach can be seen at a very great distance. Walking up this rampway, we're surrounded by enormous blocks of stone, creating very high walls on either side of us. In fact, they're so large that they were known as Cyclopean masonry. That is, only the giant Cyclops was large enough to move stones this big. Right. The Cyclops was a legendary giant from Homer's Odyssey. And so these became known as Cyclopean because who could imagine moving these massive stones? I have to tell you, I can't imagine. So as you said, we're surrounded by these walls on three sides, which means that we are completely unprotected. If we were an enemy approaching, it would be easy to rain arrows, spears, anything down on us. Exactly. I would have felt very safe, I think, in the Mycenaean citadel. So we're looking up at the famous so-called Lion Gate. It is perched above a standard ancient building system of post and lintel. On both sides we have uprights, posts, and spanning it across a horizontal lintel. The Mycenaean architects wanted to build this wall very high and 